Hi everybody, welcome to today's senior fitness workout. Hope you're all keeping well um, and enjoying the last few uh, videos that we've done. Um, so today uh, is going to be another total body workout. There's going to be uh, two, four, six, eight, seven, 12 exercises. Okay, and with each set there are options to do on the floor or on the wall. Okay, uh, as always with my senior or mobility restricted workouts, they're all timed. Okay, so it's down to you, it's your time, your pace. Um, a few people have uh, messaged saying that we'd like a, a warm up. Okay, so if you've not done a warm up already and you're not too sure, press stop, go back onto our page and I've put a warm up on there now as well. So gets everything moving, stretched off, get the heart rate up a little bit as well, ready to take on the workout. Okay, and there's also um, a video on there now as well to do a stretch after the workout. Okay, so a few of you have been messaging just saying, what can we do before and after? Okay, so down to today's workout. So there are op options as always. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to be using some weights or resistance bands today. Okay, if you haven't got a resistance band, that's fine. This is what it could look like. Okay, we're, we're looking at these kind of full one strips. You can get them in, in loops. Um, ideally, this is the type of thing I'll be using with our workouts going forward. So if you want to purchase one, go on Amazon um, and Decathlon, they sell them online as well. Um, if not, okay, dumbbells. And again, if you don't have dumbbells, bottles of water, tins of beans, anything like that is absolutely fine. Okay, so going back to the workout. So there's going to be two exercises back to back. Um, and we're going to go 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. And we're going to keep just two in a row and two in a row in all the way through with this one today. So there's going to be 12 exercises, bum, 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 bum. Um, and I'll explain each one in blocks of two. Okay, so today, well, the start is going to be lunges and curls. So lower body, upper body. Okay, so again, I've got a chair there for balance. Um, wall space if you need it as well. Alright, with your lunges you're stepping forward. You can alternate if you can manage it. If not, you're going to stay 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds the other, and then grab the bands or your dumbbells or your bottle of water, and we're going to go into some curls. Okay, <coughs> so I'm going to press go on the timer. Here we go. Okay, so you've got 12 seconds, and then we'll get cracking. So it's lunges first, so lower body. Use the wall for a bit of balance if you need it. Okay, ball of your foot at the back, flat front at the front. Are you ready? Off we go. Let's do it. Ooh, nice click in the ankles there as we start. So going up and down, I'm going to go static. So I'll tell you when we're halfway and we'll switch legs. <coughs> That's it. And again, just nice and steady to start with. And we're going to switch sides. So again, ball of foot at the back, get as low as you can. Okay, it's not just this little bit. If you knees will allow it, get all the way down. That's it. Good. And we're going to rest for 30 seconds. Okay, so next one. Grab your resistance bands or your dumbbells. Okay, if you've got a resistance band, you're going to stand in the middle of it. Okay, if you haven't, it's the same movement now. You're going to tuck your elbows in. You're going to stand up nice and tall. Okay, you're going to bring the bands up and bring them back down again. All right, so it's going to get the front of the arms working. Are you ready? Five seconds. Off we go. So all the way up, all the way down. Can be done with a band or with dumbbells or bottles of water. That's it. And again, the idea, get as many in as you can. That's it. Good. 15 seconds. So we're going to rest after this and we're going to do something a bit quicker which is mountain climbers. Can be done stood up or on the floor. Keep going, get the front of those arms a bit warmer. And relax. Okay, so you don't need your bands or dumbbells for this next one. So mountain climbers, okay. Wall space, hands on the wall. Knees are coming up as fast as you can. You can do them on the floor. You're going to go into a plank. Same movement, knees in and out. All right. So again, this is it. the idea with this one is to bring your heart rate up a bit quicker now. All right, we'll start getting a little bit of sweat on. Are we ready? Five seconds. And go. So knees up as fast as you can. Again, if it ends up being something like this, 
do so. If it's not, if it's just that match, that's absolutely fine. That's it. But as quick as you can, get them knees up high. Again, it's not we're not just marching. Get them knees up. Stretch out that lower back a little bit. You've got 10 seconds. That's it. And then we're going to go into core with sit-ups or overhead reach. Okay. And rest. Well done. Okay, so sit-ups on the floor. Again, if you can get all the way up, do it. All right, just don't pull yourself up. I'm going to show you the one stood up, which is a reach. Okay, so for those that haven't done it before, feet just a bit wide in the shoulders. You're going to touch your knees. You're going to reach up as high as you can. Bring it back down. Okay, it's not about bending backwards. It's just reaching up, open up those tummy muscles, and then bring it back down nice and safe. Off we go. So big reach. Nice and relaxed breathing all the way through. So big reach up and back down. All the way up. Oh, good. Feels like a nice big stretch this one, which is nice, especially if you're doing it in the morning. Right, that's it. Get some mobility in the shoulders. If you're on the floor, keep going. All the way up if you can, if you can. Crunches are fine. And rest. Okay, so we're going to go shoulder presses. So this is when you will need dumbbells or um, tins of beans. Okay, so you're going to do shoulder presses and then we're going to do squats, which can be done with or without weights. So shoulder presses, you're going to go from here or here, whichever one your shoulders will allow you to do. You're going to push above and back down, up and back down. With your squats, we'll hold them on our body and we'll squat. Okay, but shoulder presses first. Okay, off we go. So back straight, chin up, that's it, don't lean, nice soft knees, if it starts getting too much in your shoulders, just relax them down, give them a bit of a shake, if you struggle with pressing overhead, going out to the side, absolutely fine, okay, so that is your other option if you can't press overhead, if you can, keep going. So you've got the choice now. It's up to you. You can do these weighted or without, and you can do them with it or without the chair. Alright, so if you've got a chair with you, make sure it's right behind you. Sit down, stand up. And again, try not to push upwards. Don't use the, uh, the hands for, for support. Use your legs and get yourself off the chair. Alright, if you need it for balance behind it, do so. If you don't, get them dumbbells or bottles of water and squats as low as you can. That's it, so we're down, good. Again, don't worry about going too low, okay? If it gets to the point where it's too much for your knees, don't drop it too low down. That's it. And what I don't want to see is you leaning forward. Always look up. That's it. Good. Ten seconds. And we're going to do a little bit of moving around again on the next one. And then focus on the back of the arms. And stop. Well done. Okay, so the next two toe taps all right so a toe tap side to side going nice and quick and then we're going to do what you call a kickback so with your dumbbells bottles of water elbows are up push back that's it and push and if Janet's watching she loves this one okay but first one toe taps that's we go that's it so side to side Again, the quicker you go, the higher the heart rate. That's it, the more calories you're going to burn. The more you test the cardio side of things as well, so it's going to get that heart stronger and fitter. Halfway through. Keep going. Ten seconds. Keep moving. That's it. Well done. Almost there. Good. Three, two, one. Heart rate's up a little bit, which is perfect. Okay, so if you're going with dumbbells or bottles of water, all right, so the idea is tilt from the hips, elbows come up, you just straighten your arms behind you and bend like a hinge, okay? We're not skiing, okay? Elbows there, your elbow doesn't move. You're kicking it behind you. can be done exactly the same movement with your bands. Ready? So tilt, elbows up push if you do it properly the back of your arm here will start to burn 
That's it. So this is good. That's it. Nice the t-shirt. T-shirt arms look good. Especially now this weather's getting a bit nicer. That's it. I don't like using the term, but people call them bingo wings. If you feel you've got them, <laughs> again, this is perfect for that movement and that muscle group. Keep going. And well done. Nice. We're doing very well. Okay, you've got four exercises. And that's your first round done. Okay, so this next one, high knees. So we're going to march or run on the spot and push-ups. So again, as before, your push-ups can be done on the floor. I'm going to show you the ones on the wall, all right? So again, you've got the choice, but it's high knees first. So as fast as you can, okay? Marching, sprinting, jogging. Are we ready? Let's go. So again, if you can throw in a jog there, that's brilliant. If not, it's fine. Just that march. Just march on the spot as fast as you can. That's it. Good. 15 seconds. Let's get your heart rate back up. Good. 10 more. Keep going. We're doing a bit of muscle work again next. Five. Four. Well done. Good. Heart rate should be up a little bit higher now, which is perfect. Okay, so push-ups on the floor or on the wall. Okay, either way, your hands go in line with your chest. Okay, so in the middle of your chest, you're going to bend and push. Okay, but not up in front of your face. All right, and it's the same on the floor. Hands always in line with your chest. Okay, are we ready? Five seconds. Off you go. So bend push nice and controlled don't rush that's it hands in line with your chest push it forward and there good work that's it so again chest shoulders back of the arm so all the muscle groups you've already worked all into one keep going good work five seconds and you're there Perfect. Right, last two exercises, and then we're going to have a little bit longer break, and then we're going to do it all again. All right, so you're going to do standing or bicycle crunches. So standing crunches across your body. Again, if you've done these few videos that we've already done, we will have done these before. Great for the tummy muscles, side of the body and lower back, and then a Russian twist. Again, it can all be done up or on the floor. Okay, so standing crunches. Three, two, one. So cross your body, cross your body. If your balance isn't great, one side at a time. That's it. So big twist across. Relax your breathing. That's it. And if you're doing it on one side at a time, turn around, do the other side. So cross. That's it. Good work. Keep twisting all the way across. It's not just wiggling your knees around. And recover. Right, last exercise, so Russian twist. Again, if you're going to do these sat down on the floor, lean back side to side. Again, it's not about wiggling your arms around. It's getting that chest all the way around, back to the centre, all the way around, back to the centre. If you're doing them stood up, keep your hips still. It's not twisting, okay? It's the chest all the way down your trunk. Keep your hips facing forward. Are we ready? Last exercise. All the way around, back to the centre. Nice and safe, nice and controlled. There, good work. That's it, spot on. Keep going. 15 seconds, we're going to have a couple of minutes to rest once you've done this. We're going to get a drink of water and then we're going to do it all again. Good. Five, four, three, two, one relax okay so you've got two minutes to rest now i'm going to turn this timer off okay so a couple of minutes so make sure you get a drink of water if you feel that you could have gone heavier we'll find a heavier tin of beans okay or bigger tin of beans um and again just nice and steady now to control that breathing down back to normal all right we're going to go through it again if you're really feeling it and you want to go for another round after that that's absolutely fine or on the other scale, if you feel that that was enough today, 
that's also fine, alright? We're not here to break records, it's here to just get you fitter and stronger, work the muscles and just push your heart rate a bit higher than normal. Okay, so again, just going to have a little bit longer rest. I'm going to give a little shout out to my Friday morning crew. Okay, you're all doing amazing and I absolutely love um, how we're all doing it around the same time. and We're pinging messages here, there and everywhere. I love it. Okay, if you're not part of this, the Friday morning crew, it's the, everyone that's been coming to my gym over the past few years have been using my Friday class. Um, we've set up a little group on what's happened. If you want to be a part of it, you are absolutely welcome. Okay, just drop me your phone number. I'm going to add you into that WhatsApp group, and you're more than welcome to join in the fun on a well. We've been doing it on a Friday morning. I know everybody's going to be doing it at different times, but you're more than welcome to join us as well. I love it. I absolutely love our community that's growing, so we'll keep it going. Okay, so that's your two minutes up. All right, we're on my special personal trainer watch. So we're going to go back to the top, and we're going to go lunges and curls okay we're gonna go in 12 seconds so you can do them with weights if you fancy it that's absolutely fine okay uh, times ready okay so if we're going i'm going to show you alternating this time but you can do them static like i did before you're just going to keep switching legs i've gone for weights you don't have to do it weighted that's it, it's just dropping that knee down as low as you can. If you're doing it on one leg at a time, switch it. That doesn't mean single leg squats. That means if you're doing it all on your left leg first, then swap it over. That's it, good work. Five seconds. Well done, and rest. Okay, if you've got your weights in your hand already, keep hold of them. If you've not, grab them. or grab your resistance bands. We're going into bicep curls to the front of the arms. 20 seconds. Good. So again, just relax it. We're going to slowly increase the heart rate and we're going to get back into mountain climbers next, which should shoot your heart rate up a little bit faster. Okay, you ready? Six seconds. And we're going to bicep curl, so front of the arms, elbows tucked in. Off we go. So arms up and down. Again, it's not about swinging, okay? Keeping your core nice and tight. It's just the front of your arms doing the work. That's it. Perfect. And again, 15 seconds, and we'll get rid of the weights, and we'll do mountain climbers and sit-ups of the next two together. Good. Keep going. Five seconds. And rest. Good work. Chuck them to one side. Okie dokie. So we're going to go mountain climbers. So again, I'm going to show you on the wall. You can do them on the floor, so they're on the floor, same position as a plank, and you just, pff, knees are coming in and out, okay? Again, that's up to you. I'm going to show you the ones on the wall, and then we'll do sit-ups or those overhead reaches. All right, are we ready? So if you're going on the wall, grab the space, five seconds, again, as fast as you can. Let's go. That's it, so get as fast as you can with this one. Really push your heart rate up. And again, I've said this before on previous videos, don't choose the easy option. If you know you can do these ones on the floor, give them a go, all right? You try these, it's down to you then, it's your session. 10 seconds. Good work, keep going. And relax for 30, nice one, well done. Okay, so reaches up next one so big reach up if you're on the floor just bringing them shoulders up and down off the floor 20 seconds so that's nice and steady breathing all the way through 15 seconds and we'll go 10 okay ready five seconds so big big reach up use those tummy muscles and lower back up we go again these are slow no rush, just nice and controlled. Well done. And if you're on the floor, get as many reps in as you can manage. Get as high as you can manage. If you can't do a full sit up, just a little crunch is absolutely fine. 10 seconds. That's it. Good work. Keep going, don't stop just because it's beeping. Now you rest. Well done. Okay, so we went back onto the dumbbells, bottles, tins. All right, shoulder presses. Like I said before, if you struggle overhead, 
okay, or you, your blood pressure is too high for anything overhead, will go out to the side, okay, just that little bit coming out to the side. We've got 10 seconds. Once you've done the shoulder presses, we're then doing squats, okay? So again, if you want to test your legs, keep hold of those weights. Ready? Go. That's it. So keeping them close to your body, don't let them creep too far forward. Yeah, use the shoulder muscles in the back of the arms. Like I've already said, if that's too much, just go out to the side just as high as you can. 15 seconds to keep them shoulders working. Should start to get a little bit of a burn on. Good, keeping strong. Almost done. Nice, well done. Okay, so I've already said, if you want to test your legs, keep hold of those weights that you've got. Okay, if it's still too early, that's fine. Chuck them to one side. You've got the chair, use the wall for support, whatever's best for you. Just don't use your hands to help you up. The idea is to work the big muscle groups in your legs. Helps you get out of the chair easier, get you from A to B, okay? Six seconds and we'll go for squats. Ready? So feet just a bit wider than the shoulders. Sit it down, stand it up. As I said on the, the previous round, keep your back straight and keep your chin up, okay? Don't look at the floor, because that will promote forward movement. And I don't want you one decking it, going forward. But I also don't want you pulling your back. So just nice, safe movements all the time. 10 seconds. We've got six exercises left. Good. And relax. Well done. Okay. Toe taps. So side to side movement and kickbacks with the dumbbells or with the resistance band. Hope you're all feeling okay so far. So we're halfway through the second round. All right, so six exercises to go, and we're done. Kind of wish I'd done it in the garden now, though, because it is beautiful. Are we ready? Three, so we're going toe taps. Go. As fast as you can manage. That's it. Well done. Again, if that's too fast, just that bit, if your balance is a little bit off, take your time. Take your time. You can do this behind the chair. You can hold on to the chair if you need to for balance. You don't have to be throwing your arms around, okay? But if you can, just go that a little bit quicker. You've got seven seconds to finish these off. Good. And rest. Great effort. Okay, so grab your dumbbells or your bands. So we're going kickbacks. So same as before, we're not skiing. Elbow, do not move. You hinge. Up, down, up, down. Okay, keeping your back straight, soft knees, you've got 10 seconds. So this is a big focus down the back of those arms. So you did your front of your arms with your curls, back of your arms with these ones. So tilt forward, let's go. So kick it back, bend, straighten those arms, bend. Control your breathing, that's it. Good work. So elbows are still tucked in, don't let them drop down, don't let it be swinging. Push it behind you. We're going to get that heart rate back up next with high knees. And then we're going to really finish that upper body off with push-ups. Keep going. Five seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And now you rest. Well done. Shut them down. Four exercises left. So high knees as fast as you can. Gain. If marching is as fast as you can, brilliant. Just keep it there. If you can jog it out, then you jog it out, all right? And then we're going into push-ups again for the final time for your upper body. Then you've got two left for your core, and we're done. Ready? Five seconds, as fast as we can. Go. That's it, so run, march, jog, whichever one you can. And a video sent from John two weeks ago, and he was legging it up and down his garden. It's not something I... Tell everyone to do, it's whatever you can do, remember? Alright, now push it though. You got another 10 seconds to keep that pace up. Keep going. Good. And rest. Upper body. So we're going push ups, okay? So it can be done on the floor. If you're on the floor, again, hands in line with your chest, 
push it through. Don't bob your head up and down. If not, we're on the wall. All right, we're nearly done. You've got 15 seconds. Should be a little bit warmer. Their muscles should feel like they've done a bit of work, which is perfect. Again, we're not here to break any records today. It's just about getting fitter every single workout. Ready for push-ups? Let's go. That's it. So again, if you're on the wall, the further away your feet, the harder it becomes. So just play it safe, play it sensible. If you're on the floor, keep that head forward. Don't let it creep back. 15 seconds left on your upper body. Go for it. Good. Almost done. Keep going. Well done. Last two, everyone. So standing or bicycle crunches can be done on the floor or stood up and then rush and twist to finish your workout or at least finish this round. Again, it's your choice if you feel like you've got bit more energy and you want to go again just rewind rewind one round and go for it again all right you got 10 seconds so we're going across the body and then that last one with a twist let's do it three two one go so again don't make it that it's just this all right <laughs> twist get the muscles doing some work the right way across that's it if you're doing it on single side Switch, go to the opposite side. Otherwise, keep moving. You've got 10 seconds. And good for the core muscles, good for balance. That's it, pushes your heart rate just a little bit higher. And relax. Last exercise, Russian twist. So again, if you feel like you can manage it on the floor and you're not on the floor for your bicycles, sit down, lean back, and you're gonna twist from side to side. If not, we're staying on our feet. Cool. Hips stay still. Chin up, arms out. Twist to one side, back to the center. Twist to the other side, back to the center. Last one, ready, five seconds. Let's go. So side, middle. Side, middle. There's no rush. It's controlled. Hips stay still. Again, it's not this or this. All right, don't want any pulled muscles. Control, we're supposed to be building them up. There you go, 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, everybody. Well done. Turn the timer off before it keeps beeping away. Well done, everyone. Superb job today. Okay, so I've already said a few times, if you feel like you want to go again, just rewind for half the video and go again, okay? Again, you're going to work every single muscle group. You're going to get a bit of sweat on, burn some calories, and you've got that ticker beating a bit faster than it was at the beginning. Make sure you have a drink, relax, okay? And make sure now you go on, back onto the YouTube channel, scroll through, and it'll say static stretch cool down, okay? Hold each stretch, 10 to 15 seconds each. Don't bounce, just nice and controlled stretch just to finish your workout off. Just lengthen them muscles a little bit more, okay? Make sure you keep safe. We're going to keep posting these videos as often as we can, all right? So again, keep scrolling through, double checking. If you've not subscribed already, subscribe. It'll give you an idea that we've prompted or posted another video. Um, and like I said, if you want if you want to join into the uh, senior, I hate calling it that, but senior fitness uh, WhatsApp group, if you send me your phone number across, um, I can add you to the group, and then you'll be part of that little community that's growing each week as well. Alright, but stay safe, look after yourselves everyone, and thanks very much for joining us.